淡水都江堰，问道：“青春山。” Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Asia Show. And today we'll be mainly concentrating on the BRI, the Belt and Road Initiative. Are you ready? Let's do it right here and right now. Please note that the very beginning of this video, you did see a scene like this with lots of power plants and smoke and CO3 and carbon monoxide and dioxide. I am going to say this is not all of China. These are just certain parts. People say that the pollution has got better in China. Granted, this is not from officials. This is what my friends would say in Shanghai, for example. But also, I showed you this clip here of. What seemed lots of trucks going somewhere. Now let me explain. This is not in China. This is in Africa, in places like Zimbabwe and I've forgotten the name, <laughs> Mozambique. That's what I'm looking for. And、um, this is lithium being exported out of the country to go to China, so they can power basically. The lithium batteries, which will be find, found in Chinese cars, and possibly、um, be sold on to other countries. Now, that's me just speculating. This is how honest this channel is. It's just me speculating with that. But what we have in China is something called the BRI, the Belt and Road Initiative. Basically, this is where China loans money or gives money. Uh, to a developing country like Mozambique or Zimbabwe, and say, "Here's the money to develop. Fantastic, excellent, well done, China." You would say, but what does China want in return? Well, they are going into developing countries because you have the greed, you have the corruption, and the people want, or the government wants money, basically, and there they are, the sort of like. Here's our lithium base. We can't do anything with it, but here you gave us lots of money. You can have this, or it's a contract like that. You can say this is business, but the scale of it, oh my God! Take a further look. So this is just one shipment. Times does this happen over a year? It has been stated in the United States of America that China will take over the be the dominant power in the electric vehicle sector. But the problem with these electric cars, we have rant and raved on this for a while, is like the battery. The batteries are made of lithium. They have the, they are slow to charge, and they seem to be not very reliant related to fires. Some people will disagree with this and say some people would say there'll be more fires with petrol cars or hydrogen cars. But with the lithium cars, the answer is no. I've been studying this quite a while now, and.、Um, 
um, Toyota have been developing the H2 car, cars made just driven by hydrogen. And in Taiwan, they're doing a solid state battery. And Huawei, the tech company in China, say they're doing a fusion charger so you can charge your car in half the time of 18 minutes. Now, which one is believable and feasible? You could say only time will tell. EVs is a very young industry and China is jumping on the market for this, but they've got a difficult battle ahead because we have in the West, you could say, the attitude of made in China. And how many times have we seen some shiny and new project and then it sort of goes blur. Not all the time, but this is China's battle because this is what it was like before. And this is the mentality that we have of made in China. Is it right or is it wrong? Well, that's your opinion. There are some great products made in China. I have a camera you can see there, where, 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 that cam that's made in China. That's a brilliant camera. It's been working perfectly for the last year. Give it time. Let's see how long. Um, here is a GoPro. This is my GoPro, not too sure where it's made, etc. This lasted about three or four years before the battery started to have some problems. So let's just wait and see with that so one. What do you there? think? Is it right that the Belt and Road Initiative comes into a country like Mozambique and say, here's a bundle of money, we will help develop your country, which they actually haven't done. It's the corruption where most of the money goes to the officials. It doesn't go to the residents and the locals. This happens quite commonly in um, Africa. Um, Kenya is a, another example of not with lithium, but with shop owners, shopkeepers, importation from China and selling. But I think we covered that one before. Therefore, is it right, do you think, that they should do this? And in a way, just taking out this lithium for the production of batteries from a foreign country. I know you're going to say it happens in other countries, but it's all under the scheme of the Belt and Road Initiative. And that doesn't have a good reputation at the moment. For example, Italy pulled out of the Belt and Road Initiative. Don't know the actual reason why. It was the only Western country to go into it, but then they backed out of it. China has a lot of money. It has a huge or the biggest gold reserve in the world, so they can afford to do this. Are they taking over for the... The, the dominance of it all. 淡水都江堰, 问到青城山, so let us know in the comment section below your thoughts of this. There are some reports that with the lithium being transported is the Chinese looting is unstoppable all because of the BRI. And wouldn't it be great if we could actually see some of the documents or the contracts between China, Mozambique and Zimbabwe, just for example. My name is James. This is The Asia Show. Thank you. Like, subscribe and share. Bye bye for now. Cheers.